What is up guys, I'm Matex here and welcome back to another video and this video is about 1.17's secrets, tips and tricks. So let's get right into it. So first of all, we got the crossbow scope. So let's go ahead and make a target, right? So we're gonna be making a pig target somewhere on like, uh, let's see, like right here. Hopefully this leaf do not spawn and then I'm gonna be using a crossbow. So watch this. So basically, you put the spyglass on your left hand. Then you're gonna be loading up your crossbow just like this. And then uh, using your hand, you're gonna be using the spyglass. And then using a scroll bar, you're gonna be scrolling to the crossbow. So once you do this, you're all set. So since the pig is like really far away, I'm gonna be compensating for that. And then I'm gonna do this and then you're gonna be releasing the right mouse button and then you're gonna be clicking right away just like this bro i suck at aiming bro oh my god all right watch this right here something like here and then bam boy let's go that's perfect that was perfect yes let's also try it like this and then okay cool like this, then, bro, I'm so good at this, bro. But yeah, that's how you attach a scope to your crossbow. Let's go to the next one. Number two, so you can get what from gold? So yeah, watch this, gold. So, as y'all already know, this is a Minecraft goat, and this boy will basically uh, hit you off a cliff because they hate me. Oh, oh no. Did you guys know that you can get, watch this, milk from goats. Like you can actually get milk from goats. Isn't that crazy? So yeah, this is a new thing in 1.17 because these boys has been added in 1.17. So also a bonus thing, okay? Did you guys also know that you can get a uh, mushroom stew from a mushroom cows? Did you guys also know that? Number three, one way glass. So right here. As you see, there's like nothing, you know? This is, by the way, the tinted glass that has been added in 1.17. Look at this. You cannot see anything inside of this thing. However, if you go right here and then go inside and block this one, then you can see outside. So this is like a one-way glass. You can see only from the inside. And then if you look at from the outside, then you cannot see anything. So this thing is also just like in real life. So if the, what is it? the inside of the house is really dark and the outside is like bright then you cannot see anything in the inside however from the inside of the house you can see a lot on the outside it's like this however if you make a light go through it you can see the inside of the house now next one is right here infinite lava bro what is your chest here so watch this if you were to put lava right here and then that drift zone and then the point of drip zone and underneath it the lava cauldron then the lava cauldron will basically fill up with lava so i've been doing this for about 10 minutes and yeah it's a really slow process but these cauldrons will basically fill up with lava slowly but surely so oh yeah as you guys can see it just filled up right here so these things only have two states uh, completely empty and a completely full all right number five get rich with more gold game mode survival all right cool so watch this i'm gonna get this 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 and this actually i do not even need this one all right so this is the nether gold ore i'm gonna be mining this thing with a netherite pickaxe and once you mine this thing the uh, golden ingot i mean the gold nuggets will drop so we got seven, seven gold nuggets. Let's see, let's mine it again. Three and then nine. So somewhere around like three to like six, something like that, uh, gold nuggets will drop. However, watch this. If you enchant this thing, enchant at P, uh, silk touch and mine this thing, then obviously the nether gold ore will drop just like this. Right, same exact item. However, here is an interesting thing. So if you were to uh, smelt this thing, then 
you will not get the gold nugget. You will get, wait for it, wait for it, the golden ingot. You will get a full golden ingot, which can be converted into nine gold nuggets, which is way more than three to like six gold nuggets. So this is how you get a little bit more gold every time you mine the gold at the nether gold ore. Let's see if the same for the quartz. If you were to mine this thing, then this thing will drop. One, another quartz. Let's try to put this thing here. Wait, no, not this one, Vegas. Let's see, let's see. It dropped one. Yep, same thing, doesn't matter. But yeah, with nether gold ore, uh, it will definitely drop more when you use a silk touch. So that was a little bit of a tip for you guys. And the next one, you can actually make LED lights in Minecraft. So you guys know like something like this in real life, you can get like LED lights for your room and it looks amazing. So as you see, I got signs like this. And you know what? I think I want to make green LED lights. I'm going to be dying just like this, 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 and then you can do this, 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 and then I'm going to be removing the torch and it looks like this. Now it looks so dark, right? Uh, so now I'm going to try to fix this by using a light block. So how do you get this thing? You do give at P light. That's all you do and you'll get a light block. And yes, this thing also exists in Bedrock Edition Minecraft. And if you place it down on top of it, then you'll get this. And when you click it, you'll go to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I think like 8 or like 9 is like the perfect amount of light. So this thing is also transparent. You can walk through it it's like this. So using the glow ink sack, which has been added in 1.17 update. So this one is another decorating tip. So TNT right here and then candle like this. So if you were to place on TNT, it's just like this, right? And then place on a red candle, then it looks like dynamite like this. And also cactus is equal to Let's do four, right? And if you were to do this, then it looks like candle, I mean, the cactus flower. All right, so that was all number seven. Let's go to number eight. And this one is drip leaf one-way entry system. So you can now have a really compact way of making a one-way entry system by using a, a drip leaf. So I'm gonna go on top of this and then you can go through it just like this. However, if you wanna go back, then you cannot because this thing is blocking it. I mean, yeah, they can like destroy this thing really easily, but uh, still, it's a really compact way of making a one-way system. All right, number nine, the end portal blocking system. So this one is pretty interesting. Uh, I'm gonna be making an end portal. So basically what this does is it blocks out the end portal. It disables the end portal. Right, so I'm gonna be making something really tall like this. The taller the better. I mean not really, but like the tall one works perfectly fine. Alright, cool. Alright, and then I'm gonna be destroying this thing like this, and then it's gonna be going into the end portal. I'm gonna be making multiple um, of these dripstones. Now let's try to enter the end portal game mode survival. Alright, let's get it. Oh, there we go. So as soon as you enter the end portal, you die. So element X was skewered by a falling stalactite. But yeah, that's basically how to make a death portal. This is pretty much a death portal, but it's only one time use. So once you go it again, you're fine, bro. All right, now let's try to wear some uh, like OP armors. So let's do a uh, netherite. I think you'll survive. Oh, that was really close. You guys saw that? That was like one heart. I survived it barely. Now, the last one. Number 10, the power of the powder snow. So let's go ahead and make a nether portal it's like this. If you were to, bro, no, no. Oh my God. Bro, oh my, dude, what? Bro, oh my gosh, no, bro. No, bro. What is wrong with this? Bro. But yeah, let's go right here and then bam bam bam. So yeah, in the nether, if you're to place on a water bucket, then you will instantly evaporate it because uh, nether is like really hot for some reason. So, uh, watch this, watch this. 
you can actually oh my god bro so you can actually mlg water bucket in minecraft nether by not doing what i just did but doing uh let's see let's see let's see can i do it can i do it i don't know this yes 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 i've done it that's perfect yes 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 so i am on fire oh my god that's crazy but i can extinguish it by using a powder snow it's like this and in the nether you can also have an infinite amount of and in the nether you can also make an infinite snow bridge by doing like this and put in the bucket and this and this so yeah that was it for today guys and if you want to see secrets about minecraft 1.17 then go ahead and check out this video out so that was it for today guys thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video